So this problem is actually this formula based, which is not in JE syllabus, but there are some other things which are important that we are going to learn from this problem. So in this problem, an alpha particle with a given energy is deflected by a golden foil and we need to find the value of aiming parameter. So aiming parameter is this distance. So this is the alpha particle which is approaching, let's say with the velocity V. And from the stationary nucleus of the gold foil, it's going to deflect because it's going to be repelled. And we need to find B if this angle theta is given. So there are some things which you can understand. First is the nucleus is stationary. So this alpha particle, when it goes and deflects back, it's not transferring any energy to the nucleus. So the energy of alpha particle itself is going to be constant. So we can write from conservation of energy that half mv1 square is equal to half mv2 square, which means v1 is equal to v2. So its initial energy is going to be its eventual energy. Now second, if uh, we conserve angular momentum about the nucleus. So about this point, we can see that all the forces on this alpha particle are passing through this point. So the angular momentum with respect to this nucleus is going to be conserved. So we can write the initial angular momentum is equal to final angular momentum. So initial is mv into b. And final is again mv into let's say b2. So this gives b1 is equal to b2 which means if this the aiming parameter is b then eventually also this distance is going to be b. So these are two important things. First is the velocity is going to be same and second the this aiming parameter is going to be same as the departing parameter or whatever it is called. Now this deviation is given by this formula 10 theta by 2 is equal to k q1 q2 by 2 b t. But t is the kinetic energy of the incoming particle. So here t becomes half mv square. So again there are some things you can see here that if this b is small. So obviously the deflection is going to be more. And if this b is large, it's, it may pass undeflected. So it's inversely proportional to b. This theta, tan theta by 2 is inversely proportional to b. It makes sense. So if you write T as half mv square, so you can again, again imagine that if this mass is very high, so if mass of this particle is very high, then also theta will be less. So you can see again, tan theta by 2 is inversely proportional to mass. And it is inversely proportional to v square. So if it is traveling very fast, then also deflection is going to be less. And it's proportional to q1 and q2. So this also makes sense because if the charges are more, then the mutual force will be more and therefore deflection will be more. So yeah, a lot of learnings here. So yeah, if, if you want to find the value of B, you just put the values of theta, K, Q1, Q2 and B and you will find your answer. But again, this formula is not important, but there are some other learnings that you can gain from this problem. All right.